Tell us what you remember about you playing U18s for Team Switzerland. I remember a very fun time back then. We might have not been the best team on the ice and on top division level, but it did not stop us from working hard in practice and during games and to fight for every inch on the ice. I mean, we always had practice three times a week at least. And at some point it got up to seven practices per week and two or three games a week. You had school going on, later university or work. You also had hockey and then you had to fit in everything in one day or one week. I once told a woman who is president of an ice hockey club that I would help them out and if they need referees. She just registered me. It was the other side. It was special to me in the beginning because you had to run the game. As a player, you, you just are on the ice and you play, but you have not that much responsibility. Now as a ref, you have so, so much responsibility. But it was a new challenge to me and I wanted to get better from game to game and that's still keeping me going. So Karin, uh, just a little surprise for you today. Um, I've been thinking about when we met, how we met 10 or 15 years ago when we were both playing in Neuchâtel. Yeah, I got to know you better, you were always telling me what I can do better, you were really the the leader in the team and it was so nice to have you and your knowledge there. Well, you've inspired me, of course, but you've inspired a lot of players throughout your uh, ice hockey career. So it was really nice also from my side to see the switch in your career, being a player to becoming a game official and now being at the top level on the international stage, officiating the best of the world. It was really a blast to see you on the ice the other day officiating the, the girls. So as you told me the other day, enjoy life, take the best out of it, and uh, I'm so thankful to have you as a friend. That's very touching to me. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that anybody would see me like that. She was always there when I needed her. I was there when she needed me. And there's so much common ground we can talk about. Like, it was, I was so surprised to know that Estelle works for the International Ice Hockey Federation and that we would be at the same tournament. It's pretty nice, to be honest. It gives you something back because you invest so many hours of your life in it. You also see the volunteers around, you know, they do this for you. And it's so much to take in. Sometimes you're so overwhelmed with it. But um, when you have a moment and look back, you're, you're like, nobody can take it away from me.